What's up guys? Today we are going to talk about a quick um, interesting thing that we discovered when we had finished our spark plug job. Something I forgot about. Um, yeah. I obviously had to deal with it on. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. something that you had actually encountered before, and but yes. it was years ago that you had encountered this. So. Well, and it's also not something you typically would like correlate, Yeah. which I didn't. So, um, it's important for you, if you guys are up in mileage, um, the recommended maintenance interval on a set of coil packs for this car, I believe is 120,000 miles or five years. Five years? Yeah. I think that the, I think the age is undershooting it. I think the mileage is about right. Um, yeah. so cause well, those are probably the original. They are original. They'll so this car is a 2010 G37 X. X sedan <laughs> and we just did a spark plug job on it uh the car had 164,500 miles on it ish when we did it they are the original coil packs they probably were the original spark plugs because i had not seen any maintenance records uh regarding spark plugs and i've personally known this car since it had 95,000 miles and it was in 2017 yeah. so there's a very good chance that the spark plugs had not been done they looked like they had 165,000 miles on them when we They're pulled wrong. them. Um, so we did the plugs only. Now the car drove very well for 400 miles. And then one day it started misfiring and it started dun, dun, dun. misfiring randomly. Yeah, that's always fun. PO 300 man random misfire. Which um, is really crappy because if you get a PO301, you're at least you can go, okay, well, cylinder one is misfiring. Let's figure out why cylinder one is not misfiring. It's PO301 through six. So you would, you would be able to correspond the code to the cylinder and then go from there. But unfortunately I had random misfire and there was really no way to know. So um, I had no choice because of the, uh, I, I just couldn't get it out here. I didn't have the time to work well, you, on it. You were actually stranded with it at a- I was, yeah. I was, uh, I was stranded with it uh, in LA and um, I just couldn't get it out here. And I also was really busy with work that week. So I ended up taking it to uh, Specialty Nissan and Infinity, uh, which is up in Eagle Rock. If you guys, uh, you guys should definitely, yeah, you should definitely check them out. They're 12 miles from me. Uh, so I triple A tow them out. Uh, Wendell, who is the mechanic there, really nice guy, really knows his Nissan, has been doing it for like 30, 35 years. Uh, he basically was like, well, I can't diagnose exactly where this is coming from, but your plugs are new and it's clearly, we knew that it was uh, running rich because we we're getting pops out of the exhaust. So it was a spark issue. And I was like, well, maybe you should do the coil packs, basically. He maybe you should do three coil packs. We, so we tried, I tried to, I tried to pinch some pennies <laughs> because you know, coil, as you guys know, a uh, NGK coil pack is $96 a piece. Uh, quick, quick note for y'all, don't use Chinese coil packs. Do not use Chinese coil packs. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I say this reluctantly because I'm a big fan of Z1 parts, but uh, Wendell actually had a guy who had Z1 coil packs on his car and they didn't work as well as OEM. So I'm- um, I think even like with the 300s when you do like a coil pack upgrades, you move over to like, OEM R35 coil packs and that type of stuff. Right. Yeah. So use OEM or OEM equivalent or OEM plus. I think well because even Hitachi, the ones are NGK. considered OEM equivalent. And not. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Denso makes coil packs, but these these ones I got are NGK coil packs. Yep. They're uh, considered to be an upgrade from OEM, and we went with them because they were the same price as OEM. So uh, we swapped in the coil packs, solved the misfire, no problem. I was without a car for a week because it took him a while to get to it. Um, but don't be this guy. Don't, don't not do your coil packs at the same time as your spark plugs. If you know you haven't done your coil packs for a while, that's the public yeah. service announcement. That's right. uh, I definitely overshot it. 165,000 miles on the original coil packs, as well as the car being 13 years old because this was a January model. So. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it so was like 13 years and 20, uh, yeah, 2009. 13 years and two months that these coil packs have been on the car. So yeah. to be they fair, were due. that's great. That's impressive for a set of coil packs. I mean, yeah. Like have an idea for how long you can stretch them. But PSA, if you're going to do your spark plugs, do your coil change packs. your coil packs. Unless it's like, 
I don't know, you just got the car and it's like 90,000 miles on it, maybe you could stretch it a little bit. Yeah, maybe. If you want to get down I there, mean, if you want to get down there twice. I guess at that point, just like take it till you have an issue, maybe. Yeah, but you know if you don't I mean? want to be stranded, maybe just do it to be safe. Yeah, so, and, and one that's funny, because like we said at the beginning, like I didn't realize um, when I had gotten the 350 originally, yep. I had done the plugs on it. Uh, it was fine for a while, same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And it's like, it's not something you want to spend the money on because, you know, a set of coil packs is 600, is 600 bucks. bucks. Yeah. But at the same time, is it worth your time to get back in there twice? Because, you well, know, we had to pull the intake hoses and the throttle bodies to get to, to the to, coil to, packs alone. To be fair about that, on this, not so bad. On the 350? The 350 was worse. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to have to go back and do it twice, even though I have yeah. to. Um, but this, not so bad. Yeah. So something to consider. Let yep. us know what you guys thought. If you guys have ever had this issue. Um, yeah, let us know. If you guys have any other maintenance related questions or anything you want to see on the G, let us know in the comments down below. And if you like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. We appreciate you guys. And MGK coil packs. Hell yeah.